Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be talking about SAS variables in your second SAS tutorial. Um, variables are really powerful because they allow you to change code very quickly and do some uh, computation uh, with all sorts of stuff to make your life a little bit easier. Um, so what we're going to start out with is, is just a basic HTML document. As you can see, it has no styles right now. Um, it looks like this. The reason it has no styles is because I only have a style.scss file, and I haven't created the CSS file, which it's looking for yet, as you can see um, in my directory right here. So we're going to go to Terminal. And to start SAS, we're going to browse to our directory. So it's in Desktop, SAS, CSS. Check to make sure it's there. OK, so now we're going to do SAS dash dash watch style.scss colon style.css um, and what this is saying is sass watch the file style.scss and then either update style.css or create it if it's not already created so we're gonna go ahead and hit enter here and uh, it's now created that uh, CSS file and if we refresh our page it should have the stylings that I gave it by default. Cool. So um, as you can see, I just have some real basic, you know, heading, heading, um, and then uh, a, an anchor tag is all the same color. I have a really faint gradient going on in the back here, and just uh, paragraphs. Um, so what I'm going to show you first is we're going to go over um, just a very basic example using color and variables. So I'm going to uncomment out this first one. And uh, so let's say you know you have a um, let's say you have a client and and they basically they like this color but they would like to change it and if you've given many different things that color in your CSS document as you can imagine uh, they get very large then you'll have to go through and change it for all of them uh, what's great about SAS is that if you use variables you can only change it once or you'll change it once and it'll update throughout your entire CSS document. So um, what I've done up here is I've just done dollar sign, then your variable name, colon, and then your variable itself. Uh, in this case, I'm using you know the hex color. So you do have to put you know the pound. If this was just you know color, you could just write black in here or whatever. And then um, you're going to finish off with a semicolon. So if we want to apply this variable to all of our all of our um, items that we want to give this color to, to call this, we just have to say um, you would do color or whatever. I mean, you can do background color, or whatever. But since we're changing the color here, color, and then dollar sign uh, blue. Um, let's see, blue. Okay. Oh, wow, spelling. Okay, blue. Okay. So now, if we were to save this document, what it would do is any time that this word shows up, it's going to be using this color. And if we go ahead here and edit all the places, we save, refresh, you can see all of them have updated. Now, um, you know, let's say they wanted to change it back to that color after all that. Um, it'd be really nice and easy. You just have to grab that hex code. Um, and then now all you have to do is change your variable here, paste it in, refresh, and you can see it updated all of them at once. Uh, this is really powerful, it's really easy, um, it takes no time at all. So next we're going to talk about um, another application. And so you can use it for more than just colors, you can use it for pretty much any property of CSS. Um, this comes in handy even with margins. So what we've done here is that I have the header as a margin um, on the right or on the left of 5%, uh, paragraphs have on the left of right, left and right 5%. And then um, the H2 tags have a margin of 10% on left and right. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to declare a variable called margin by uncommenting this out. You see dollar sign margin, colon 5%, and then semicolon. Uh, Any time that we're using 5%, we can say, um, let's say, margin. I'm just going to copy this and paste this into the other places where I'm using 5%. It looks like it's just the paragraph tag. We refresh and nothing should have changed. Well, let's say all of a sudden we want this to be 25% for some reason. You would save it. 
and it would be 25%. So, uh, well, let's say, what if you want this H2 to move in proportionally to your changes that you're making here? Um, you could say this is 25%, but this is still 10%. No matter what, this one's not changing. Um, if you want to, you know, you could set up another variable that would be margin uh, 2, you know, is equal to, you know, whatever, and then it would update, uh, you know, whatever you want it to be. Or you can do some uh, neat tricks with SAS and have it do it for you. So um, let's say we want this to be 5%, and we always want this to be whatever everything else is plus 5%. So what you could do here is you could do dollar sign margin, and you could do plus 5%. And what this is going to do is it's going to add 5% to 5%, giving you a 10% uh, left and right margin. So as you can see, it's a little bit more than before. If we get rid of this back to, um, if we change this back to, well, this is actually the same as before. So now if we uh, make this 10%, refresh, this is going to be a 15% margin, and this is going to be a 10% margin. We can inspect that to double check. So you can see it's calculated out 10 plus 5, 15%. Um, so that's really useful if you want to keep things proportionate or if you just want to do some, you know, um, you know, steps to save you time so you don't have to go back and change things later. All right, so something else. Well, let's put this back at 5% first. All right. So another really cool thing you can do with color is adding and subtracting. Um, what I have here is this really basic gradient. Um, it's just going from this cream color to a white. Uh, what I've done up here is I've declared two variables. So if I uncomment these out, I have cream is equal to the cream color we have before, and then cream2 is equal to cream minus 100. And what this is going to do is it's going to produce a darker version of the uh, cream that we originally had. And since we're using it in all these places, um, instead of having to do cream minus 100 every time here, we can just declare the second variable. So I'm going to go ahead and multi-select all of these. Cream and then cream 2. And so if I did this correctly, it should give us a darker color here. As you can see, it's now going from the cream to a darker version of that cream. Um, and if we wanted to look at our CSS file, let's go to that and I have it saved in here. We pull up that and all of our CSS is using the normal hex values. So let's say you do all your work in SAS and then uh, later you need to make an edit and it's you know quick on the fly or something. You can set a your normal CSS document like usual and it's you know it'll update fine. So I mean this takes your your SCSS file and converts it completely into something that you're used to with the normal CSS file. Well, that's the basics for variables. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to get talking more about uh, mix-ins and nesting and all sorts of um, really cool stuff that you can do with SAS. All right, this is uh, Scott with Level Up Tuts. Uh, you know, subscribe if you like, if you want to see more. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.